guy. Uh, the question that, that that you see most often, even when you sit down with clients, is, but how do I know that that what I'm receiving, that the output is going to be predictable and, and yeah. consistent. And I think that's where this element of explainability yeah. comes in, right? So how, how do you how do you approach that sort of question with a client, at least in the initial stages? Okay, yes. There's one thing I'm always repeating because it's also very funny uh, when I have interviews or panels. So sometimes they ask you uh, to give you examples from the past. And you give like good examples. And the first question that everybody is eager to ask is, which model did you implement? Do you know about it? It's, it's the least important thing. Because when you implement uh, a solution, the most important things are, what is the input? What is the goal? And which metrics you are going to uh, use to assess the goal? The model doesn't matter. Why? Because you can have different approaches and even whatever you're implementing right now can be obsolete in five years. So mm -hmm. who cares? But the problem is still there. So for instance, you want to find talent in sport. That's still a problem. Probably will still be a problem in 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. But so we go back. I like your sport analogy, we, but we go back to the same problem. I think we're still not uh, at, the, at the, the, the center of the question. So our industry specialist is the coach, and he tells us, well, me, I know, I have the experience, I can see, I have the expert's eye to see the talent. And you're like, well, no, because we can identify markers, and we have like a baseline, and with those different KPIs and indicators, those markers, we can um, uh, have a sort of a weighted average or a way to measure those markers and come to something. Um, so do you think that? explaining the process and how you use those markers to get to a sort of a, a data measured and data driven solution is the way to go about it instead of saying let me do it we have ai and we can solve that for you that's that's what you're saying right to really explain that it's not ai or anything it's like we measure those markers we analyze all the data around each marker then we have a formula that gives that some ponderation of anything mathematically. And then through enough data, it can, in that case, filming the players to see when they tick the box in those markers, we can come to a result. Is that what you're saying? Okay, yes. So uh, in order to understand how it works, it must be clear how a machine learning project gets to an optimum solution. So the point is, it's counterintuitive for a person because it goes backwards. So the most important thing, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to understand the goal and how to measure the uh, quality of your goal, right? Which is counterintuitive because in the beginning, you start, yeah. a human will start thinking about the algorithm. Basically, yeah. the way machine learning works is like, forget about the algorithm. The machine will solve it. But what you need to be very clear is what you want to achieve. Okay, but this creates an issue for um, explainability. And by the way, there is also another interesting question, which is the difference between interpretability and explainability, but we will get to that. Okay. Okay, the point is, okay, you describe the goal, right? And then the machine learns the most optimal way and can generalize like uh, a good solution for that. Uh -huh. Right. But the question is, at some point, you might say, OK, how did you get there? It's like imagine it's like if you have a person and this person solved the problem in a snap and you say, like, oh, yeah, you're brilliant. But can I have some control over it for two reasons? Number one is governance. Uh, there are issues related to um, um, the, the way that you are assembling a solution that can, uh, must be governed by principle, but ethical principles or something related to uh, constraints that we want to apply. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not even ethical sometimes, it's just constraint, for instance. Yeah. It's whatever we evaluate as important, valuable. Uh, so the solution that is proposed by the algorithm must be mitigated by the constraints that we have. Okay, I can give you, um, a, a stupid uh, example from real world, okay? Please. Okay, and I can give you some interesting examples from the 
uh, industry. Uh, so there is a very famous um, computer vision uh, problem that was created years ago, and it was it's exemplary on what happens when it goes off the rails and you don't understand what it's doing. So they had to classify fish, mm -hmm. right? So to recognize fish in pictures for biological purposes, they need to assemble like, if I remember correctly, they need to assemble a data set on whatever. So they assemble pictures of fish, different fishes, different shape, different kind of fishes. And with, uh, they collected, I don't know, like some thousands images. And then they trained the model. And the model was capable of recognizing fishes in the test set, but it failed because at some point was recognizing fish in an image where there was no fish at all. All right. So in this case, you start analyzing it's like, okay, what makes the prediction wrong? What, what's wrong with that? And they found that in these images, there were persons, right? So they said, uh, what's going on in here? Uh, and what they did is that uh, after a while, they realized that the model was trained on. So most of the images of fish is people that were was going fishing, and they had they were holding the fish with their hands, and the model learned somehow that a very good indication of a fish is to have fingers basically on the bottom. So at some point, basically, the model was looking for fingers in the images. <laughs> so the point yeah. is you kind of not define very well so in this case explainability was applied and we managed to understand that the model made some false assumptions because we were not correct in the way we assemble the the, the, the training set yeah but i can give also some other examples that are even more interesting or or for an ethical purpose